LaDonna is certainly an interesting character. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel if she becomes a recurring character as, as frequently as, say, Francine or Muffy. But certainly for this one episode, I didn't mind her at all. Based on a True Story is the first episode of the 16th season of Arthur. And we have a new character, LaDonna. And she's moved to Elwood City. She's four houses down from the Reeds. And she's moved from Louisiana. She has a... Uh, an accent which I think is really interesting because characters in Arthur don't have a specific accent so I, I think if she is in it recurringly that's going to be quite a fascinating thing to have because usually the only other characters who have accents are you know like specific one-off or they're almost caricatures of individuals so I am kind of keen to see what they do with it but this one is about getting to know her and what it feels like to be the new girl in a new school, in a new classroom, trying to make friends. And she begins to tell these stories, true stories, that fascinate everybody. And they're hooked and they're, you know, they want to be her friend. They're really keen to be around her. And then she runs out of stories and she starts repeating the same stories. So she decides to do something that was a terrible idea. And with a spoiler warning, I'll discuss what that was. And I'll also discuss the message of the episode. And... I feel like there are two things here. The first is that you just need to be yourself. If you are a new person in a new location, just be yourself. If you try and fake it or, you know, be somebody you're not, that's not exactly what she does. But if you just don't be yourself, then people are going to like you for the wrong reasons. And that's going to be impossible to sustain. The other message is with a spoiler, so I'll discuss that in a moment. But I think it's a great perspective for anybody who's in her shoes. But also for anybody who's got a new person in their class, particularly the target audience, if a new person has joined their school, make them feel welcome, listen to their stories, engage with them, but make them know that there is no pressure to try and be fascinating or to be interesting. Let them know that it's okay to not tell stories and find reasons for you to be their friend, because that's obviously not necessary. But when you're a new kid in a new class or a new school, there is a pressure to be interesting. And LaDonna certainly felt that. With regards to the de the design of LaDonna, I feel like she's she seems older than the other kids in her class. I don't know exactly why. I don't know if she's more worldly, more experienced. She also seems slightly taller, even though I don't think she actually is. So I feel like she definitely comes across as older. It'll be interesting to see what the dynamic is like going forward if she is recurring. She's also got a younger brother who, who's DW's age and... <laughs> they don't exactly hit it off straight away either. Um, but again, it's all about giving people a chance. Not a bad episode, not a bad way to start the 16th season, and LaDonna is not a bad character. So, spoiler, from now I'll explain what LaDonna does and the, and the kind of message of the episode that comes with it. Having run out of stories, the drastic action she takes is to make something up. And they realise that she's made this up. And they start to doubt every other story she's told. Even though the other stories were true, because she's told this one lie, it discredits everything else that she's said. And then people start to just avoid her and keep their distance. And the message there, of course, is don't lie, because it will never work out for you. Just be yourself. Not a bad episode. Keen to see what they do with this character going forward. I think she'll take a bit of getting used to. It's very unusual to introduce a new regular character 16 seasons in. So we'll see. Or is she going to be like Jenna, who's in it sometimes, or maybe like George, who's in it a little bit more, but not as frequently as Muffy, Francie in the brain, and maybe Binky? I guess the only way to find out is to carry on watching it, which I will. Keen to see what happens going forward. <laughs>